when you're under pressure and when you're playing at your worst. Now, whatever's really inside of you, whatever's left, when everything is stripped away, you are butt ass naked in the Tekken ring. That's you under pressure. That's you when you have to play clutch. And that's the skill level of play that you have to raise. Because you know what makes you different from me or Arsenal or other like godlike players? When they're on the clutch and they're playing like shit relatively for them, it's still way better than you. We know why they're better than you at that moment because their skill floor is godlike. So your goal has to be to raise your floor. And that's easier because your peak is already higher. So, so do you really think you're better than a pro, like a real pro? Because I'm sure you've seen on Twitter or you might be one of the people on Twitter who says all the time, I could do that or you'll watch a grand final set and you'll see, oh, why didn't so-and-so do this easy thing that I do all the time in right rank sets as a Gabriel level player, but you're talking to like the top of the top, the queen of the top, and you're saying, why aren't they doing that? If they can't do it, then like, they don't belong to be at that skill level, or how can they be so good, but they can't do the simple things that I always do in my matches? Well, red rank player, Garu, who is giving the gods the silent treatment, I'm going to tell you what's going on. In that moment, when you watched that godlike player not do the thing that you do in your sets all the time as a Garu, as a red rank, you might actually be better than that player in that moment. Okay, so here, here's how we're going to talk about this. The idea is skill progression. People often expect their skills going to just get better and better and better as they get better at these games uh, or better at the game that they're playing. But it's not that simple. Oftentimes people will develop their skills asynchronously, meaning it's a long word for saying you're going to have certain things that you're going to be really good at and other things that you're going to be like booty butt cheeks at. And the way you level up as a player on the skill tree of Tekken or whatever game you're talking about, it is by making the thing you're worst at better. So your worst day, that day where you went on a five, 15, 20, you deranked all the way to battle ruler and below. Wait, no, you're, you're, wait, no, you're red rank. So you would have deranked, I don't know, it's orange. I don't even know anymore what's below there, but whatever. You're going to rank a lot. That's your actual floor. And let's say your peak is Tekken King. So let's say you on a good day are a Tekken King level player, but on a bad day, you're like an assailant. That is a problem. So the way you can get better is that, think of it this way, you're already a king. You can already play at the king level when you are like totally locked in, when everything's right, when you're well fed and you're just had a great relaxing day and you're just playing some Tekken and you're just vibing out, right? You're just vibing out and you're kicking some booty. That's you at your peak play. That's you, not somebody else. It's not some other level of play. You have to try to achieve. You've already done it. You're at that level already. Your problem isn't that you're not, a, you're not good. It isn't that you can't play at a king level because you've demonstrated that because you've done it already. The problem is you're not consistent at it. They're, and a lot of times people think, oh, well, they get consistent. I just need to do drills to work on my consistency. Now, is there a place for drills? Yes. And for some people, do they need to do drills? Yes. But most likely, that's not the only problem you're having because it's not just about can you do the thing? It's also, can you do the thing at the right time? Can you do the right thing against the right person in the right moment at the right spacing at the right button press? All these if statements are required. So a drill, all it does is it makes it so that something complicated that can be broiled down to a relatively simple thing, which is what a drill is. It's simple. Your brain can be off when you do a, when you're doing a drill. You want it to be subconscious, it want it to be a subconscious process. That's what drills are. They're good at doing that. What drills are not good at doing is helping you make better decisions. Drills do not do that. You're not making a decision with a drill. You're just doing a thing. What makes you better, especially if you've already achieved that level of play when you're at your best, 
is figuring out, all right, well, how good am I on my worst day? That's what you have to make better. You at your worst, that's what's dragging you down. Make your worst level of play better and stronger. Then you will find your peak won't be so vastly different from your floor. And your goal, really, at the earlier stages of gameplay, of skill, of, of like being king or Bushin or like or in the blues, really, is to make that gap smaller and smaller and smaller. And really, if you're honest with yourself, your floor is much lower than you think it is. And your floor might not be the same for all skills within the game. Why is it also important to raise your floor? Because that player you just watched in a tournament do a thing wrong or not do a thing that you can do already right now as a Garu rank red rank player. And you're like, why wouldn't they do that? They missed it so many times. What's wrong with them? How can they be so good? Because they're under pressure. When you're under pressure, what happens is your skill peak lowers. Some people, if you're really, really good and you're lucky, you're going to be at your peak all the time, even when you're playing like in a high pressure situation. Okay. That's ideal. And if you're like lucky to be one of those people, I'm happy for you, but that's not going to be everyone. Some people are going to in some days, you're just not going to be playing at your best. And if you're playing under pressure and you're not playing at your best, basically think, basically think of pressure and anxiety as a, like it pushes you down towards your floor. So whatever your floor level of play is, that's the way you're going to play in a tournament. That's the way you're going to play in a clutch moment when it's one hit away from death. That's the way you're going to play when your back is against the wall. You have no time to think about your options or what you want to do. And you got to just do the thing that comes out of you naturally. And if that thing is booty, butt cheeks, options, selection, then that's what's going to come out, baby. Booty, butt cheeks. So stop throwing out those booty, butt cheeks and start actually raising that floor. <laughs> now, how do you do that, right? How do you raise your floor? Uh, well, the etudes stuff I was talking about, the training in intermittently. Oh my mic. <laughs> the intermittent training I was talking to you about. Um, that's how. That's part of how you do it. So what you need to do is you need you need to get the skill in your brain, like deep in there. It has to really like just get in there. You have to be able to subconsciously process these things and not think about it. I've tried to identify my weaknesses and actively work on them while I play, like side steps, and I, I've seen the difference. Exactly, T7 task. And um, you're pretty darn good then, just attacking God Supreme trapped in a battle ruler body. Yeah, so perfect. It's not that I'm reading my chat. So perfect. Uh, the thing to do is to figure out how can you play like your best more often and the better players are just more consistent they make that gap smaller and smaller and smaller but just remember your your your, your true skill is not your peak your true skill is your floor is you at your worst the worst you play that's your actual skill that's what you really are not the peak but the peak is what you can aspire to become and it's your peak it's you it's yours whatever your peak is that's always going to be yours and you always know that yes your peak your goal doesn't need to be i need to get better your goal needs to be i need to become more consistent you're already good just approach more consistently the you that already exists that you've expressed in the past. Make that more common. 
what you'll also find when you do that, your peak will rise. So your peak will become even higher because what you're also going to find is that your floor just drags you down. Like, like your floor literally drags you down. It just takes you, it's like, ah, pulls you down. You may not realize it, but that's what's holding you back. That's what stops you from getting better and beating stronger opponents more often. It's your floor. It's going to pop up whenever you're under pressure. Whenever you're about to get that rank up, whenever you're about to get that demo, whenever you're about to stop someone else from getting their promo or demo, or when you're like in a really unfamiliar spot and you're like, I don't know what's going on. What's happening right now? I'm just going to do what my instincts tell me to do. And you're going to find that thing is going to get blown up because your floor in that moment is super low. Like that Tekken super godlike player you just watch mess up the mix up or mess up a punish or mess up whatever it is they should have done. So it just means that that person you watched, their floor is really low and they're under a lot of pressure and there's nothing wrong with that. You're going to be under pressure. It just means that person's floor and their pressure was so low in that moment, in that one area, because of whatever reason, they missed it. They couldn't, they couldn't do it in that instant, in that microsecond that might've only lasted literally microseconds, it might've been frames where they were in a moment where they were playing like a Garu. In that one moment, they were the Garu. They were you. You were the meme. The silence. God. The Garu speaking. Because in that moment, that second God was a Garu. So, along with me saying, everyone can get better, even the best. The fewer instances of you being a red rank is uh, the the <laughs> the better you play. <laughs>